So today's job, we're going to a residential lot. Rick's already out there. He's been out there for uh, three days, I think, with the skid and the fecon head, basically scrubbing all of the small stuff off the lot. This morning we had a 210 excavator dropped on the job site, and I'm gonna go out and start knocking down some of the larger trees and everything. This is a lot for a residential basement and we're just in the initial clearing stages right now and then later on once we get the lot cleared and the homeowner gets all their permits taken care of we'll come back and we'll actually dig the basement dig the water and sewer actually this has got a septic so we'll do the septic so so that's today's job Basically what we did this morning is the first goal anytime you get on a site like this is just open it up and get enough room that you can move the machines around. So that's really what we've been focusing on over on the front side of the lot, getting some of the trees down, getting some of the stumps out so that I'm not swinging into trees and I'm not worrying about bumping the counterweight of the machine. So we got that all cleared out this morning. Now we're moving further back on the property. Always, it's always something. Uh, now we've moved further back on the property. Now that we've got an opening that we can kind of push everything into, sweet Jesus. Hey! Hey! Tony! So basically now what we've started to do is move back on the property. Now we've opened up a hole that we can safely drop trees into because one of the things you don't want to do is shove trees into other trees, especially on a lot like this where there's a lot of dead wood that's rotten because then what happens is you can get a chain reaction where you can actually send two or three trees over, one's gonna snap the wrong way, it can turn into a dangerous situation. So now we've got an opening that we can push the trees into. Now we're starting to get a little more aggressive on the clear. Uh, we're starting to pop a lot of stumps out. So that's what we'll spend the rest of the afternoon doing, primarily stumps and then dropping more trees, getting them cut up, getting the wood piled up and, and then Rick's gonna mulch the tops. So that's the plan. in a day wrap up so today we we like I mentioned earlier in the day we focused on getting this area behind me kind of cleared out so that we could really start dropping trees and that's exactly what we did this afternoon uh, you know behind the camera that you can't really see right now we really got aggressive started landing some pretty good trees and then while uh, Cody was cutting them up with the chainsaw Rick was chasing them around mulching the tops with the fecon head I was sorting the timber that we're actually going to take out of here or or chip we still haven't decided on what we're going to do with the timber but i've been stacking it up uh migrating all of the stumps off to the side of the property and we're really starting to get it opened up so for the next two days that's really the plan is we've got a handful of trees that we need to continue to drop uh we're going to do a little more piecework up here by the power lines that's where you get a little dicey you got to be you know real slow and careful um but i'm thinking if we don't have it wrapped up by end of day tomorrow, it's not gonna be a full day of, of day three by the time we're done with this phase of what we're doing. 
and then like I said once the homeowner gets their permits pulled and everything you know gets lined up that's when we'll come back out and dig the basement so